Gonna get so fucking drunk, bro! <laughs> good morning, friends. Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. Um, got a good eight hours, but unfortunately because I slept so early, it's now 1am. So this episode might run a little bit long. Um, that's okay. It's all really dark. Oh, better, better turn the lights on. Because I can! Because I can! I'm a little bit scared to go outside just yet. Um, I was thinking maybe I could sit down and read that carpentry book. If I can fucking <laughs> figure out where I put it. There it is. This will be a nice start to the day. And we'll probably be uh, pretty hungry by the end of it. So thirsty, so hungry, so bored. But almost done with the book. Just a few more minutes, my sweet. It's uh, 10 a.m. now. Feeling a little sad as well. Mmm, unfortunate. Most unfortunate. Yes, and now we're uh, very bored. Very bored! But at least I have increased carpentry all of a sudden. Cooking for beginner, electrical, fishing. I need a fun book. Did I did I bring any fun books? I'm sure there's some magazines on that shelf. I didn't look for magazines. Yes. Read this. Isn't that so fun? Ha ha ha. Scarlett Johansson, etc. Lindsay Lohan, and she's dumb. Let's read another one. Wow, look at that. Etc. Etc. <laughs> Same thing I said before. Oh, that's not good feeling a little sad. <sighs> Let us drink. Let us drink and hope all becomes well. I need to sort my needs. Mm. And what could we have for breakfast? I could cook some stuff. That could be fun. Hmm. Or I could just eat some oranges. Sounds good to me. Mm -hmm. Eat more. Eat more. Eat more! Alright, and now I've got to go out on the town. I'd really like to get rid of that unhappiness, but I don't know if it's gonna happen. These magazines don't do much. I'm gonna use all my magazines trying to be happy again. Because <laughs> once you read them, they're no good. You gotta throw them away. Everybody knows that. Yeah, still unhappy. I'm, I'm so sorry that you're unhappy. <sighs> we'll find something. Find something to make happy. Damn it. <laughs> ah, but what a lovely day. What a lovely day! I need to go to those grocery stores. That's what I was going to do next. I've had uh, a little break since the last episode. I'm glad I was able to uh, sort of set things right. I'm sure I'll get super tired very early, but I just have to make sure that I don't overexert myself during the day. Hmm. Although it is already noon, and all I've done is read a book since 1am. So, your body's still rested, your mind might be a little tired. But we'll survive. It's what we do. There's that apartment complex that I searched briefly, so I think it's just up this way. Them grocery stores. Kinda relearning the, uh, the layout here. Which will be helpful for uh, not getting lost forever. It's good that it's kind of in the center of town, so you can go, okay, that's a grocery store, that's a police station, and kind of uh, work it back from there, instead of going, wow, that's a lot of houses. <laughs> Look at all of the houses. Oh my, what a lovely house. <laughs> oh man, I've been talking to uh, a guy named Josh from When Bad Movies Attacks, and he's got some uh, hilarious memes. The one, one of which uh, is, oh my, what a lovely house, because the director of A Talking Cat, uh, like, cuts his house into the movie, like, a bunch of times. I thought it was extremely clever, and it has uh, stuck with me, even to this day. That boy, that boy, we need to get him on the Dayton Does channel, that boy. Gotta move all of this shit. But I'll be, uh, grateful when I come back and it's not all completely rotten, rotten garbage. Those watermelons are just so heavy! Why? Because they're full of water? 
Hmm. Well, there's a uh, first load. It's gonna take quite a while, I think. It's a big old grocery store, I'll tell you what. But they'll also give me a chance to kind of clear some uh, zombos out of the way. Oh, are you hungry? Are you really? You can just eat all of this. Mm. Oh, mm. Watermelon eating contest. Yes. I guess the Giga Market's a little bigger. This seems sort of manageable in its way. So let's pop in and see if I can't grab at least uh, at least a little bit more stuff. I say load me down, Cap'n. Yeah, like all this. Some of it is starting to rot. Cabbage is rotten. Mmm. That's not good. This lettuce is starting to go too. If it doesn't say fresh next to it, I suppose it's uh, not something that you want. So we'll have to let some of this go. Damn, damn, damn! We need to, uh, we need to double the effort that we are putting out here. I guess I do have, like, fridges worth of food, so it's not extremely sad if I lose a little bit, but I don't necessarily want to. Um, I'd like to have all the shit. Everything that I can fit in the fridge. Please and thank you. Uh, let's just grab all of this. All of this except for the usual shit. Is this, like, a better way to do it? I'm not sure. Trowel, tweezers, screwdriver, painkillers, hammers, kitchen knife, sandbag, can opener and soup. Oh, that's rotten cabbage. I guess we'll throw that on the floor. Fuck. That's so sad. Alright. Put these things in there. Put the- put the things in there! Don't we have a third fridge? Hello? Anyone? Aw, oh, damn. This is not good. I have to eat this watermelon. Could I just shove it in the freezer? Is that gonna work? I guess it does. But then I'm gonna have frozen peaches and pineapples, which could be delicious. If we pour some whiskey on it, ooh, and let it thaw out inside the whiskey, holy shit. I'm gonna get so fucking drunk, bro! Alright, I think this is working fine. Five oranges, a little bit of lettuce, some leeks, grapes, whatever. You shove it all in the freezer. Cherries, these cherries are starting to go. Fuck. That's so sad. At least the power's not off. But, uh, we need to eat anything that we find. If you find a fridge, just empty it into your tummy. Into your tummy. Throw this on the floor. Should go put it outside, maybe. That would be, uh, <laughs> a smarter thing to do. So here, give me these. We're taking this shit outside. <clears throat> do I have more? Yeah, I do. Of course I do. I grabbed a shit ton of food. Rage Leaks Orange Pineapple. Gotta get rid, gotta get rid. Alright. That's looking uh, kind of okay. I still got a bit more weight on myself than I would like. Probably because I'm carrying around tools that I don't necessarily need right now. <laughs> Three rotten cabbages. Anybody want some of that? No? Nobody? Me either. Gross. Mm -hmm. See if there's anything left in this, uh, this store. Anything at all need to be rescued? Oh my god. I'm so sad. Cabbage, eggplant, leeks, lettuce. Lettuce and cabbage are no good. Watermelon will probably start rotting as well. Shit, man. This is, uh, this is foul. Okay. 
Don't want this. Don't want that. Strawberries, no. Tomatoes, no. Take all of this. <sighs> Rescue what I can, I suppose. I should have done it yesterday. I made the joke about it won't rot overnight, and now I feel fucking stupid <laughs> for making it. Oh, Lord. Avocados, bananas, carrots, leeks, oranges. Pickles? Pickles are no good? Oh. Pickles are fine. Pickles are never fresh. It doesn't make no sense. I'm really hoping that bitch doesn't bash that while I'm standing right here shopping. <laughs> Just leave me alone, please. Move along. There's nothing left here for you. You're in there. You come with me. No, that's okay. Alright, emptied this out pretty good. A little bit of rotten shit, but uh... We mostly rescued what we could. These are all frozen still, so that's nice. But once the power goes out, we're fucked. Hey! You got in, did ya? And for what? And for what? Nothing! Yep. Nothing at all. Nothing at all! Well, I'm sad about another broken window, but I'm not gonna patch it up. It ain't on my base. Mm-mm. Gotta go stash my goodies. I've got so many goodies. They're not even rotten yet, you guys. You guys! <sighs> to find a place for them is the difficult part. Okay, carpentry for beginners I could probably put down. I don't need to carry that shit around forever. It don't make no sense. There we go. Just a little bit of fruity fruit. Um, shove that in there. Can do. Can do. The watermelons are the hard part. Put those in the fridge. Or the freezer. Watermelons go in freezer. There you go. That's what's taking up most of the weight. Three pounds each. Quad a wadi melon. You can cut up your fruits and it will make them uh, extend a little further. Apples, oranges, watermelons uh, are all good things to, to just cut up before you eat. Because it will extend the life of the fruit instead of just sitting down, eating it all at once. You get a little more, a little more stretch, which is nice. But, uh, also not really something that I do because I'm playing alone and I don't really need to, uh, worry about conserving food. Especially not at this point. I know I'm not going to be able to save all of the food, but, um, I'm trying. <laughs> but doesn't that count for anything? Alright, we'll put carpentry for beginners up. Uh, water bottle I don't know if I need. Got a lot of bandages and shit. How about we put some of this down? I'll bring the screwdriver with me. Uh, hammer can come. Yeah. It's about as stripped down as it's gonna get. Maybe I could put the bandages and the broccoli. That'll do. Yeah. You just don't have a lot of, uh, carry capacity to work with in Zomboid. Which is one of the things that makes it beautiful. Risk a back injury? No, I don't think I will. Those fucking cabbages. Why? Why did I need to leave them out there? They're gonna attract the undead. Alright, this place is mostly looted except for the fridge. We need to get over to the Giga Market. Giga Market! Please! Don't expire! Oh man. This is such a big place. All of this produce. Radish, strawberries, tomato are all bad at this point. Fart. Take all this, grab the zucchini. That's right, grab the zucchini. Mmm. <laughs> a little more. Skip out on that cabbage and that lettuce, the strawberries. Man, 
It's all starting to go. If it doesn't have a... a covering on itself, well, do carrots? Do fucking grapes? How do these not expire, but everything else is, is going? Ah, I need all the fresh foods. Fresh food for daytime. Please, Gib. Uh, this is all fresh. Good. I like that a lot. I appreciate you. Um, okay. We'll keep on shopping. Don't grab that cabbage. <laughs> That's bad cabbage. So if anything, we need to uh, get some pickled cabbage. Mm-hmm. It's what goes bad the fastest. I guess that also would apply to like farming and shit like that if you're going to uh, do that on a massive scale. If you're planting cabbage, you need to have a contingency plan for said cabbage. Watermelons. Well, I guess I'm glad to grab them. <laughs> grab those melons. Grab them good. And there's still uh, quite a bit to get out of here. This is all preserved, thank goodness. Yeah, and all of this is gonna go. My god. There's too much. You just can't save it all. But uh, our fridge and shit is getting pretty full too, so... I guess that counts for something, in a way. I want to go past the uh, Giga Mart and see what's down that way. I know there's a construction site and shit like that. Oh my. I haven't been up here, have I? Seahorse coffee? Oh, hmm. Hello. This does look familiar, actually. That's like the back way into all those businesses, I think. Which means my house is just over here. Oh no, that's the thing I thought that was the church. Bitch, what are you doing? Can't be here. Jeez. How many times I try to tell them? They just never listen. Alright. Gotta stash some more food. Stash all the food away. Yes. Put watermelon in fridge. Do it. Do it. Yeah, we've got so many watermelons that uh it's almost all packed in here. <laughs> I've completely shoved my fridges full of uh, food, which is awesome. Fucking fantastic. Alright, so let's uh, top it off if we can. If we can't, I'll just bring whatever's left and uh, not worry about the food that is uh, potentially rotting at the Gigamart. I'm over it at this point. <laughs> Took you long enough, Dayton. Hey, hey! You shut your dirty mouth! Ah, uh, let's see. Carrots. Carrots go in freezers, right? Yeah, that's nice. Got a little more room here. Eggplants, corn, leeks, oranges. Not painkillers. You do want to keep your painkillers fresh, though. They'll be more effective at fighting off illness. Illiness. That's what I say. He's what I say. Yes, this is uh, working out quite nicely. Peaches, pickles, pineapples. That's a screwdriver. <sighs> yeah, I keep my screwdriver in the fridge. It keeps it fresh. I don't even know where it went. So uh, I guess I won't worry about it for the time being. <laughs> screwdriver. It should be right there. Oh, it's in my, it's in my shit still. Good. Wonderful. Yep, and the only thing we don't have room for is a uh, watermelon, which I'll go ahead and slice up and eat, along with my trail mix. Oh, but it's getting so late again. A little bit drowsy. Hmm. Let's slice up this watermelon. Shing! Fresh watermelon slices! Mmm! What a treat! That's nice. It's real nice. Still sad. I could pull out those adult magazines that I found. We haven't traveled really that far from home today, which uh, 
is kind of good, I suppose. But maybe not. Boredom, stress, unhappiness, yeah. Read a comic book. It's good for you. Ah. You like that? Yeah, now we're just a little drowsy. A little drowsy. Hmm. Maybe I could read a book before bed. What skills am I missing? Oh, we leveled up blunt accuracy. Fuck yeah! Electrical's way up there already because we're electrical engineers. Carpentry's going nicely. Hmm. I need to get uh, first aid, fishing, trapping, foraging. I'm sure, I have one of those books around here somewhere. Somewhere. Cooking, electrical, farming, fishing. We'll do fishing. Yeah. That'll be nice. Another nice story before bedtime. So we mostly uh, fed our brains today, which I think is an important thing during the Zombocalypse as well. I'm going to leave this light on in the hall because uh, there's no windows to attract zombies. And it'll let me... <laughs> It'll let me find my way, should I wake up in the uh, middle of the night again. Yeah, it says I'm I'm just a little drowsy, but we can learn some fishing for beginners. Yes, learn about the, the glorious mackerel and his spawning grounds. Every year he goes from the, the bottom to the top or something like that, and he goes back to where he was born, and then he fucks a ladyfish, and uh, they have little baby fish, and the baby fish does the same thing. The miracle of nature. You can catch and eat all of these amazing fish and even more. Perhaps you should like to go out to the ocean and do battle with a massive barracuda. I'm very, very tired now. Getting a little delirious. Please try to ignore most of the things that I'm saying. I don't really know what I'm talking about, uh, but I'm halfway through this book, so I figure that I should just keep on going. Trout and tuna, especially delicious. Uh, I had some spicy tuna rolls when I was in Japan, and I, I developed quite an addiction. I'd go spend, you know, almost uh, 2,000 yen every every week. Uh, that's like 20 bucks on tuna rolls, which uh, is not normal, some people might say. But if, if you can learn to catch it yourself, you could save a lot of money. So I think that's a pretty good idea. Go find that fish in that, in that guy's garage. Hey, thanks, book. You've been really, really helpful. <laughs> I'm so fucking exhausted now. In danger of passing out. But I want to eat just a couple more watermelon slices. A little more trail mix. Mm. Mm. And sleep. Oh, wow. It's the morning already. Whoopsie! <laughs> so, friends, this has been Project Zomboid. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I sincerely hope that you will join us for the next time. Don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy. And if you do, friends, I'll send you a tea kettle. Uh, you can make some stuff in there. Hot cocoa if you want. <laughs> Although it's hard to wash. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one, friends. And until then, bye bye One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.